Welcome friends of the greasy shop rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 353 chainsaw. The customer complaint is that it started smoking really bad. So usually there's only two reasons why we'd see this. One of them is that there is a compromised gasket between the crankcase and the oil tank. And the other reason is that bar oil went into the gas tank. And in this case, we sampled the fuel with our finger, and it felt oily. And if we look into the oil tank, we'll see that it smells like fuel. Yeah, he got them switched. Uh, it's not unusual to see this, uh, but it's not the end of the world either. A lot of times this can be done without much more than just dumping the tanks and refilling them. We'll have a primer bulb system on this saw so we can pump the fresh fuel through the carb. And it'll probably start right up but smoke really bad. How come the gas is thicker than the oil? Yeah, how come the gas and the oil are the same consistency? It must be a viscosity thing. So that's our mess in the funnel there, brown. As a chainsaw mechanic and the last person that's going to work on this saw before he gets it back, I will probably get blamed for anything that might be wrong with this saw. You know, he'll say it ran perfectly fine before he put the oil in the tank, whatever. That's why I'll look into the cylinder and make sure that there's no scoring. I'll look at the air filter and make sure it's good to go. And I'll look for anything that's obvious. But even though they may not do much for maintenance, I'll be the one that gets blamed if something goes wrong. Luckily, there's nothing ugly about the cylinder here. It's all clean and shiny. I mean, even the spark plug is probably going to clean itself up here once we get this thing going. And here we're checking out that air filter. Not terrible. And then we'll just do a little bit of maintenance here and clean some of this sawdust up. Resist the urge to blow air into that little hole on top of the carburetor. You'll blow out your metering diaphragm. All right, we're pretty much happy with what we see under the hood here. We'll get this cylinder cover back into place. It's being stubborn. So, because he ran this to the point of it smoking really bad, we're going to pull the fuel filter on here. Give him a new filter. I mean, if you had to flush this thing out, I suppose you could. It's really stuck on that line. Holy shit. So, there's something else that probably could be done. Probably could have a new fuel line put on this saw. But what we'll do is we'll get this thing going for him so he can finish his project. We'll give him a list of things we found. If he wants us to take a look at it, bring it back after his project, great. If he wants to do it on his own, great. But at least we'll uh, have looked at it and written on the work order what we found. 
And then if something goes wrong, hey, we told you. And here I'm just trying to get that filter to lay in the bottom of the tank the way I want it. That line has got a curl in it and the filter was facing up the first time I dropped it in there. We kind of want it laying on the bottom as best we can. All right, happy with that. We'll get some 50 to 1 fuel put in here. Kind of clean up our mess a little bit. And now we're just going to run the purge bulb. And we're trying to get some of that good fresh gas pushed through the carburetor and displace some of that really heavy oily mix that was in there. Now on this side, you want to make sure you got all the gas out of the tank, but there's really nothing else you have to do. As long as all the gas is out, you know, I've seen guys put gas in there and oil pump will pump fuel out under the bar and then a little spark will set it off and they'll be Standing there holding a flaming lightsaber or something, whatever. Uh, it it looks cool, but it's not really safe. So this thing's going to probably start up and smoke really bad, but eventually clear out. If it wouldn't clear out, we would start pressure testing the crankcase and the oil tank. And make sure that gasket in the crankcase is good, you know. So that's all I'm going to have for you in the Husqvarna 353 chainsaw with the gas and oil tank contents switched. Thanks for watching. Later.